Hey, how y'all doing out there? It's good to be back with you. I'm Pastor Kelly, Pastor Dolly, how you doing? Great, how about you? I'm good. good. It's good to be back with y'all. Yes. Um, last video, we, we kind of, we got into uh, I am, right? Mm -hmm. I am what, what I am what this says I am. We right. talked about, for years we went to a church that... Uh, our confession. Yeah, our confession. Uh, the church started, we'd stand up, hold our Bible up and say, this is our Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. And I can do what it says I can do. That's right. And that just got so ingrained in me, we thought we'd just look at it. So the last video we looked at, uh, I am what right. it says I am. Right. I am a child of God. So this one we we're going to look. a lot of things, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of That's things. All you gotta know. <laughs> you got to know who and what you are so you can you know whether or not uh, the enemy's stealing something from you. Yeah. So this one we're going to look at, I have what this Bible says I have. Yes. And so we're going to look at a couple of scriptures here. Uh, Galatians chapter 3. And it kind of leads us back into I am, what it says I am. Um, Galatians chapter 3, verse 27 says, For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ, you've put on Christ. Amen. You have been baptized into Christ, so you've put on Christ. He says, there is neither Jew nor Greek, neither is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. You're, so you, it is. Uh, part of the I am is I am an heir of the promise right. of this word. Right. Because I have been baptized into Christ. I, I, I was one of those people that grew up thinking Christ was Jesus' last name. <laughs> I really was. But then Kinda I found I out as a grown-up, you know, that... that Christ wasn't his last name. It was the anointing, the anointed, anointed one and his and anointing. anointing. And so when we've put on Christ, that means we've put on the anointed one and his anointing. So we have the anointing. Yeah. I've been praying lately that it would be an undeniable anointing right. flowing out of my life. Because when you think about what he did and that would be really the ultimate thing better than finances yeah. better than any other thing you could think of was to be able to walk in the same power that jesus walked in and make the impact on the world that he made yeah man that's that anointing it, that anointing he walked in basically supplied everything yeah i mean it, it, it's just and the church just isn't walking in the revelation that that's right. been given to us we, yeah. and he wants us to figure that out we broke it out into you know a lot of rules and this, mm -hmm. this and that, but it's 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 knowing, knowing who you are, knowing what you have, and knowing what you can do. Right. And it's not you're not doing anything wrong by doing it. He tells us it's ours. Right. So he says that you have you have been baptized into Christ. Mm -hmm. Over in Romans, and we're not going to go through a lot of them. I look, there's hundreds and hundreds of. Things that you have in Christ. Yeah. Um, Over 300. I mean, it's a lot. Didn't you say 300 350? Just givens. Right. Yeah, we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, Romans 6, verse 22 says, But now, being made free from sin. Well, how, were, how, how was I made free from sin? I believed in Jesus. Right. Jesus paid the debt for sin. And I believe in him, and he says that he's, his blood has washed me clean and taken sin out of the picture. Sin's not your problem if you're a believer. Knowing who you are and knowing what you have and knowing what you can do is, is ignorance is yeah. your problem. Yeah, the Bible says... And that's why I'm not saying destroyed. that in a mean way. Ignorance can be fixed with knowledge. Right. And that's why, that's why you got to get in here and find out what God's saying. Yes. He says, but now being made free from sin and become servants to God... You have your fruit unto holiness and end everlasting life. When you take on Christ, you take on all his characteristics. Right. Jesus is not the head of the church and he's holy and pure and sanctified and justified and his body is a big old mess of sinners. That would be like if your head was yeah. holy and all that, but your body yeah. was jacked up. 
that, that, that can't be possible. It's all about, gonna be the same. Yeah, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. If mm -hmm. if the tree's this, the roots are this. It, mm -hmm. It's all one thing. We just read that. We're all one in Christ Jesus. Right. So you operate, you have holiness. You have uh sanctification and justification, you have it all. You've received and, all that, so you yeah. have it. And one way to look at it, and there was even more, I think 500 givens, but if I have something, if I have this cup of coffee and I give it to Pastor Dolly, she now has it, right? Right. And so everything that God says I've given you, I have. And so that's, right. that's one way to look at it yeah. is what, God because, has given eternal life. He laid down his life. He took our, our poverty so we could we could have his riches. Well, John 3, 16. Yeah. He loved us so much that he gave. He gave. He gave his only begotten son. So every single thing that Jesus purchased or paid for or redeemed us from or delivered we us have. from, it's ours. We have access to it. But like I say, if you don't know it, then it doesn't do you any good. I always think of the credit card. You know, the fine print on it, you almost you got to get an electron <laughs> microscope to read some of that printing on there. But they write that stuff so small on them credit cards because they don't want you to know. And you're just paying your bill, you're going about your business, and you get your credit card bill one month, and it's outrageous. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You call them up, and they, oh, well, this and this and this, you broke the contract, and so we jumped your rate up 15 times. Yeah. You know, and so, well, you didn't know that. You can't benefit from these promises and the things that you have if you don't know them. And God's not trying to hide them. He, he wants you he to says, know them. He says, my people are destroyed for a lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. Yeah, and he's not hiding anything. He's trying to reveal it. And if you seek it, you'll find it. That's right. If you knock, it'll be opened. If That's you ask, right. you'll, he's going he's gonna to do that. Yes. You know, it, it gets into the knowing who you are, knowing what's available to you and using it. You know, it, 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 to me, it's a big tool chest. You know, if I need a hammer, I find a hammer. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got probably six or seven different hammers. Mm -hmm. What particular hammer do I need? There's, there's a certain tool for every job, and there's a promise and a, and, a, and a blessing that we already have access to available to us. And we got to know what it is. Because when you know you what need, I did yesterday? I had a little nail that was I was needing to bend it a little bit to hold something and I didn't have a hammer, so I took a screwdriver with a rubber handle <laughs> and was trying to hit the nail with that rubber handle screwdriver. And eventually, I got it enough done where it kind of works. But boy, I went about it the hard way. Yeah, it's hard and it's frustrating. One good whack with the right tool fixes things. And you know, you may get in situations where you know prayer works, or you may get into another situation where something you know helps in that situation mm -hmm. but then again you might get into a situation that you've never been in before and you need to know something you need to know a scripture you need to know the, the anointing you need to know something that god has given us access to that mm -hmm. will help you out in that in that situation so it's good to know i like peter here second peter because you know we talked about who you are it's it's really open-ended who you are who, who you're capable of being Right. You know, Jesus says, if you can believe, all things are possible. That's pretty open-ended. You know, That's a pretty big statement. It really is. I mean, and it, it, it's going to be something you're drawn to. I mean, the first guy that ever said, I think I can run a mile in under three minutes. When the rest of the world, up to that point, the whole world, oh, it's impossible. It's impossible. They thought they had proven by it's every impossible. means that it was human impossible. human being cannot do that. A human being cannot do that. And one guy woke up one day and said, I think I can. Right. <laughs> he believed he could. He trained. He did what he had to do, and he did it. Yes. If you can believe it, it makes no. It, it doesn't make any difference. Well, here's what you've been given. Things that you have. Second Peter chapter one, verse three says, "According as His divine power, that's God, of His own free will and choice, of His divine power has given unto us." all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue he has given his as his divine power has given unto us all things 
that pertain to life and godliness. There shouldn't be anything holding us back because we have an answer for it. We have, we've been given everything we need to, to succeed, to prosper, to be blessed, to be healthy, to be a, a, a blessing to, to those around us. It's all so ours. Powerful. It's all ours already. Yeah. That's just a powerful thing. Yeah. I have what this Bible says I have. It says I have all things mm -hmm. that pertain unto life and godliness. He goes on in the next verse. I, I love this next verse. It says, whereby are given unto us, there's again, given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises, that by these exceedingly great and precious promises you might be partakers of the divine nature. When we understand the first I am who God says I am, he says I'm his child. Then I must have his DNA and his blood and in the natural sense, I must have his nature running through me because I was born from him if he's my father. And it says I can have his nature operating in me. If you have his nature, then you have everything. Yeah. You look at the you look at the ministry of Jesus, and that was that was a human being understanding he was operating in the divine nature of God. That no problem, no no disease, no lack, no nothing. Any you know going about doing good and healing all that were oppressed. Any any time he came across something that did not fit God's love, mm -hmm. he changed it. Yeah. Because he was operating in that agape love because that's what he was, because he's the express image of God. Yeah. And any time that, that people were being done wrong, he got involved and changed it because he, he, had, he had been given all things. He even talks about that in John, knowing that the Father had given him all things. Mm -hmm. So it's the, same, it's the same promise we have to us, that God has already given us all things. You have them. We don't have to sit around and pray. We don't have to go to school, college, or Bible school for 20 years. We don't have to go to the right church. We don't have to spend 20, you know, the right amount of time praying. There's, it's not a, it's not a magic formula. It's belief. It's right. faith. It. I have them because I believe I have them. Yeah. And when I believe I have them, I start using them. You know, it, it's one of those things. Well, a lot of times people think that they have to do something else. Besides just believe, and that is hard to do because we can't do it. How many times have we tried in the natural realm to do something or make something happen just to find out that it wasn't the way to do it? Right. So learning how to trust God and just believe in Him. It says Abraham, hope against hope, believed yeah. God. And it was, you know, he, he was fully persuaded that what God had promised, God was also able to perform. His faith was not in any way about himself. Yeah. His faith was in the fact that God said it and God is able to do it. Yeah. And and we have to be able to get in that place so yeah. that we can receive because what God wants to give us is bigger than us. And the enemy makes us run around with our head cut off trying to figure out how to achieve it on our own when he just says uh, he's already given it to us. Yeah. He tells us in the New Testament it. Abraham believed and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Yeah. We believe. Therefore, we, we get the same package. And if you go back with Genesis 15 or Genesis 17 and look at the covenant God made with Abraham. Yeah. He said, I am going to make you. That's right. I am going to make you. I'm going to establish you. I'm going to give you. And I'm going. then you're going to be. I'm going to do all of this. And the only thing Abraham says is, I'm, the only time Abraham even came up says, I'm going to make a covenant between me and you. Yeah, that was it. He said, I'm going to make a covenant between me and you, and here's what I'm going to do. Right. And then it tells us Abraham believed. That's it. That's that's a good deal. And God has given the same covenant to you and to he me has. and you to have all of us. It. Yeah, you have it. When Jesus said it's finished, he meant it's finished. That means your part is not a work. It's a belief. Your part is not doing something. Your part is putting faith in what God's already done through His Son Jesus. Your part is to believe. Amen. Amen. Man, that's good. That's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, That'll get you. That'll get you excited. Praise God. We hope you liked that. We hope you got something out of it. And uh, if you did, shoot us a line. Let us know, and we'll we'll get back with you on the next one. We love you. We'll see you soon.